In Australia's backyards, lawns, trampolines and garden gnomes are making way for the latest emblem of the country's booming housing market, granny flats. These tiny cabin-like dwellings are the latest craze in a housing boom that's putting home ownership out of reach of many Australians. My mum passed away um, in November 12 months ago and we decided to use the her money to build a granny flat in the backyard for, my, for our son. Just too much for a young man to go out and, you know, afford to pay rent and, or to buy a house at the moment. So, uh, you want to move across? Sydney ranks in the world's 10 most expensive cities for prime residential property. One million dollars will buy you a luxury home measuring about 41 square metres. Only slightly larger than a similar property in New York. Local mayors like Michael Reagan are worried. Housing affordability on the northern beaches is, is a very big issue right now. It is an emergency. We're having all sorts of issues. We don't have youths being able to fill any of those sort of jobs at cafes. They're, for example, they now have to move out of the area. In Mr Reagan's electorate of Warringah, home to Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott, low-income workers, such as policemen, are commuting daily from more than 100 miles away because local house prices are so steep. While local councils try to help the situation by freeing up planning approvals, the Australian Central Bank recently cut interest rates to record lows, making home loans cheaper but risking a spur of property speculators and another surge in house prices. For Joan's son Shane, that might mean living in a granny flat for a while longer. I'm very happy here. It's big enough for one or even two people so if you know as long as I can I'll be staying here if something changes down the track who knows then I might move out might do something else but for the short or for the long term even I'll probably be here for quite a while.